Show. The cell from hell appears a preposterous assertion. I mean, it's a cell. It's a group of cells, sure, but they're so cute. So, where do we begin? There are different types of microorganisms. These guys are categorized as a type of phytoplankton. Because they photosynthesize and make food. They, they, they make food from the sun. Now let's get even more sciencey. The cell from hell's real name is called Fiasteria, and it's a dinoflagellate. Okay, lots of intense words here. Uh, the the Fiasteria, um, first of all, Fiasteria. How, how it, it's a, there's a special way to pronounce it. I'm not exactly sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but uh, you gotta memorize this name, you dumb fuck. And also, um, there's uh, to explain dinoflagellates. Uh, yeah, facts, right? Yeah. Here, here you go. Just, just read them. Yay! Next. So, you might be asking, uh, why, why are Fisterius so scary, Drachan? Well, my crispy little chicken nugget, come here. Welcome to the ocean. Now, imagine a fish swimming over a portion of the seabed with some fiesteria, right? Just your average normal day. Um, at first, they'll be they'll be absolutely chilling. You know, they might be having some water. You never really know these uh, critters. Uh, but they smell fish and they start swimming up towards the fish. Now, much like K2SO, from uh, the Star Trek Rogue One movie, which is absolutely terrible. But anyway, I digress. There's a 43.28% chance that the cell just might want to give the fish a little hug and continue on with their day. Well, no. These cells are initially benthic autotrophs. Let me explain. When I say benthic, it means they like to be in the benthic zone. I know, such good... Um, Explanation there. Uh, when I say some a, a creature is benthic, I mean that it tends to live on the seabed. It doesn't usually, or it, or it could hover over it, but it would stay there. It it's guided at least, at the very least, by the seabed. Autotrophs. Ah, uh, hmm. Definition. Uh, have fun reading that. Uh, basically, they can. Uh, the primary producers, I guess, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'll, I'll have a definition up there. Uh, I, I generally understand what it is, but but not you know enough to recite a fucking definition. Anywho, but here's the thing. So before they see the fish, as I explained, they're a basic autotroph. Okay, they can make their own food. Uh, they they photosynthesize, as I just explained. They are a type of phytoplankton, after all. But the moment they sense fish, they tend to spontaneously transform into a motile heterotroph. Yes, uh, motile meaning they they embark in motion, you know. Uh, and heterotroph meaning that they consume food. They feed themselves not by producing food by themselves. Okay. They're lazy now, and they just want to eat the fish. They swim up to it, as I showed in my previously beautiful animation, which obviously deserves some sort of award. Totally. Anyway, uh, this is not normal. Uh, you sh uh, most creatures don't usually have one sort of lifestyle where they're just photosynthesizing all the time, and all of a sudden, they transform into a creature that will you know, eat another creature. Uh, usually it's not the case, they might have both properties at the same time, but this one actively transforms into it and works as a huge swarm of cells together with their companions and feeds on a, a fish, which is, I mean, I, I, last I checked, they're way bigger than the cell. Um, even jellyfish, even though they uh, sometimes are bent thick, meaning they, uh, they uh, in a stage of their lives, they live on the, the ground part of the ocean. I know, I'm so good with describing things. 
uh, they they eventually grow up to be the lovely jellyfish that we know that you know fly around all over the oceans and stinging I don't know divers or, or, or other fucking weirdos who would like to go into the ocean for no other reason Anyway, Fiesteria release a toxin that paralyzes respiratory systems. Not when they're not in the presence of fish and hunting them down. Uh, they they when, when they're eating the fish, they release a toxin and it paralyzes the respiratory system. They don't they don't you know strangle them physically. They paralyze it. It's ridiculous. And this leads to death by suffocation. Wisteria kill fish by feeding on their skin cells via micropredation or mysocytosis. Myso However you pronounce it, I don't think I actually found a page that knew what I was talking about and gave an example of how to pronounce it. Just look it up on YouTube nowadays. These weird things that I talk about, um, they don't really... Uh, they, they don't really have an official dictionary to, uh, just, you know, pronounce them for us, which is very weird. It makes me feel like I'm some sort of Scientologist. Uh, but this is real. Basically, uh, it's a thing, okay? Uh, to put it simply, uh, words, but uh, it's a tube, okay? They, they take a tube, all right? It pierces the cell wall and cell membrane, sucks out the cellular content, and digests it all. This usually takes about 15 minutes. Wow. Sh show naughty Jesus why why are these cells so fuck